Hello, I'm Justine Murphy with Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening in photonics. Generative AI is best known for text and image creating programs like ChatGPT, but its use is expanding now, offering a significant boost to image quality in biomedical and diagnostics applications. A team led by the Gorlitzer Center for Advanced Systems Understanding at Helmholtz Zentrum Dresden Rosendorf has designed an approach that uses a generative AI model to produce high quality images using just a standard microscope. And all it needs is a single RGB image, not a stack, as is required with conventional methods. The new approach can achieve computational quantitative phase imaging in a new way. It exploits chromatic aberration, an optical phenomenon that occurs when a lens can't focus all colors of light to the same point, resulting in low-quality images. While typically an imaging challenge, the team has essentially turned it into an advantage, in part by bringing into the mix a conditional variational diffusion model they developed last year that greatly enhances images. The researchers are now developing computational microscopy techniques they say could be applied directly to real-world clinical applications, specifically diagnostics. Photonic chip accelerator Photon Delta is joining forces with Silicon Catalyst, the world's only incubator and accelerator focused on the global semiconductor industry, to ultimately boost early-stage photonic startups. This strategic collaboration is meant to help these startups succeed by providing a range of services, including access to subject matter experts and advisors, go-to-market business development, and connections with investors. Elsewhere, EPIC, the European Photonics Industry Consortium, recently held its annual general meeting, which sees photonics and optics companies from around the world come together for strategic and other initiatives. During the several-day event, Claire Valentin, Chief Strategy Officer at Exosense, and Maria Chiara Carosa, President of Italy's National Research Council, were named to EPIC's Board of Directors. Representatives say the appointments should strengthen connections to high-growth photonic sectors and help EPIC members navigate commercialization and business expansion. Several awards were also announced. Theodore Nielsen, founder and CEO of NIL Technology, received the 2025 CEO Award, while Eric Motte, founder of Amplitude Laser, was presented with the EPIC Lifetime Achievement Award, and IMM Photonics was awarded the EPIC Sustainability Honor. A more environmentally sustainable alternative to tuning the optical properties of perovskite quantum dots is on the horizon. Developed by a team at North Carolina State University, the new approach could have major implications for use in a variety of optoelectronics applications. Quantum dots, which are nanoscale crystals, feature band gaps, the energy difference between a bound electron and a free electron state. By tuning those band gaps, the researchers can now control the specific color of light the quantum dots can absorb and emit. The team's work involves a photo-induced anion exchange reaction approach that leverages light to trigger reactions within quantum dot solutions in halogen-containing solvents. Using light to drive the reaction requires less energy than conventional methods, and controlling the light's wavelength and intensity allows the researchers to more precisely alter the quantum dot's chemical environment and ultimately ensures consistent, high-quality materials. The team says their technique could be used in practical applications within just a few years, boosting emerging quantum technologies as well as next-generation LEDs, energy-efficient displays, and solar cells. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Be sure to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. Check out our Following the Photons podcast, too, for some cool interviews and news impacting the industry. Until next time.